I'm going to go ahead and show what the uh, results of these scans look like. <clears throat> so here I'm looking at a building. This is actually a mausoleum. So here's the offices over here on the left. Um, and this is from scan data where we walked through with a backpack unit. And these white spaces, these are where the crypts are located. We're just walking through the hallways here, which is remaining to this. But if we kind of turn this at an angle, you see three dimensions. Very accurate. So next, I'd like to go ahead and show um, how do we do this? How do we make this work on the back end? What is, what is all involved with this? So we take that either scan data or CAD files, and this is kind of what it looks like when we start off. It's very basic. Uh, we might just have some lines, uh, just some line work that we interact with. And what we do is we take that, let me turn these up. We could give each one of them an assignment. It has a number, and that's stuff we can grab from the CAD data as well. Uh, but this is where this is the start of building our, our interactive map. A common thing that we have to do as well is we have to geo-reference, is what we call geo-reference this information. So I've got to move, slide this CAD drawing typically or stretch it. Uh, if it is CAD data, I've got to stretch it to fit exactly over top of my building. So in this case, you can see the roof of our building. This is some drone imagery we're referencing here uh, in the background, but I have to do that geo-processing first. Then the next step, after we go through that and kind of get our floor plans, we have what we call pathways. And these pathways represent the walking or navigation network. You can see here, it just looks like a bunch of cross patterns kind of all over the place. Uh, but this is a key, key component in building the interactivity for routing. So what you're gonna see with this example is here's the lobby, 109 here. And then we're gonna interact with any of these rooms or crypts throughout the whole mausoleum and it'll navigate directly to those. And we can do the same thing with, with people, with equipment, um, any asset that you wanna track within your building, uh, it, would, it would be able to route or navigate through here. So that's kind of the starting point of what we would start with there. And then with this route, keep in mind, we're working in 3D here. So the example, uh, what I've got here, is this is only the route network. Let me trim this down a little. So what I'm looking at here, this is, this is the three levels inside of this mausoleum. It's got a basement, the main level, and then the top level. And all I'm showing here is the, basically the pathways on which somebody would walk. I have all my other layers turned off. But what you see here in orange, this is an actual route. This is a route example. So. When I, um, I have some tools in here in this GIS software and I click run the route, wherever I have point one and two, it's gonna navigate along these pathways and find those. And then in this case, of course, it's going out to the cemetery as well. I've got three stops involved with this one. We'll show you more examples from that. I just kind of wanted to show you the backbones of this and kind of the, the skeleton of the uh, routing network. Thank you.